This is a video guide on how to use BDM100 to read the Siemens SID-803 and SID-803A ECU. And these can fit it to the 2 litre HDI 16 valve engines. So this is the BDM100 you would get off of eBay. It's not actually BDM100, this is actually a Dim Sport 555 Pro. Um, but if you follow this guide for this tool then it will work for you. So once you've got your ECU open you need to locate the BDM pads and on this ECU they're just here and what I've done for you is I've made a little diagram so if you stop the video write this down and this is the same way as the ECU is now if this is a Siemens 803 if you've got the 803A the pads will be just here rotated on an angle so all you're doing is you're using the same pattern but you're just rotating it slightly like that and it's right in the middle of the ECU so the easiest way I thought of doing this with minimal materials you need a wire which will come with your BDM100 tool cut the end off like that with a Stanley knife some solder, Stanley knife, wire strippers and a flex pen. So the first step is to separate the wires on your cable. I've labelled the red one as pin 1. So make sure you do the same. And if you just pull them all down and separate them. And then once you've finished, separate the wires. So we've got pin 1, pin 5, pin 6, pin 7, pin 8, and we don't need the rest. Before you start, twist all the wires so they're nice and thin, and then cut them off short. This is going to make it a lot easier. Put some flux on the pads. The flux pen is best for this. And then tin up the pads and then it's going to be easy to solder onto them. So obviously try not to stick them together, but if it does it's not a big deal because you can separate them again. And these ECUs come with a layer of glue, or it's like a protective coating so it doesn't get damp, but it can make it quite difficult to solder sometimes. Okay, so you've done that. Get rid of any excess solder. Make sure none of the pads are stuck together. And now we're going to start soldering. A bit more flux makes everything easier. And as in the diagram, pin one from the cable is going to the second one along. So you need quite a small head on your soldering iron. The one I've got here isn't great, but it's going to do the job. So once you've got all the wires on, you also need to give power to the ECU. For this one, it's important you actually use a proper benchtop power supply. Um, the reason for this is because it draws quite a lot of current. If you don't do this, it might not work properly. So the pinout for this with the ECU open, so we got two big plugs and one small one. So on the left side, we need H4 is ground. And on the left side again, we got C3 is 12 volt. In the center one, which is this one, G4 is 12 volt positive. And then there's nothing in that one. What I've done here is because I do this a lot, I've got a wiring loom made up, so I just plug it straight into the ECU. So now turn on your power supply. 
I set mine to about 14 volts, that does it well. Now with the power on, open the BDM software and then in the software there's an option to turn it on. You should hear your device click and then it will load and it will tell you which ECU you've got. So here it says MPC 500 family, um, family identified Siemens SID 803 5WS PSA Volvo Ford. So this is a SID 803 and there's also a SID 803A. So we're now going to advanced. You need to make a backup of all of these. Um, but you don't need to send me all of them. So on the Siemens SID 803, the maps are in the processor. And on the 803A, the maps are in the flash. And then after a long boring wait, you will have a read of your ECU. When the device is finished reading, it will turn the power off for you. So turn it back on again. And remember you're in the advanced option here, which lets you read each element separately. Please don't read it all as one and send it to me because I can't open that. And now we're reading the 555, which should be the processor. So we call that 803 processor 555 save that and then this should read again so this is a reason why you need BDM to do this because reading through the OBD you're not going to be able to read the processor of the ECU